In this video, we're going to look at a brief introduction to quadratic polynomials. So what is a quadratic polynomial in the first place? Well, a quadratic polynomial has an exponent with the highest degree equal to 2. What does this mean? All right, so let's look at one. If we had something like this, 3x squared plus 5x minus 1, our degree is the highest exponent in this expression, or the highest exponent of a variable in this expression. In this case, our highest exponent is 2. And quadratics, again, as I said before, a quadratic has a degree of 2, which means that this is, in fact, a quadratic, because the highest exponent is 2. However, let's look at another one. Let's say we had 3x squared, so it starts the same way, plus 2x to the fifth minus 1. Is our highest exponent still 2? No, it's not. We have a 5 right here, which means that this is not, no way, a quadratic. All right, so this one is this one is not because the highest exponent of a quadratic has to be 2. The highest has to be 2. All right, now that we know that, when we are solving equations, quadratic equations, it's super important for us to recognize it as a quadratic equation. And that will help us to solve it. And we'll, we'll talk more about that later on. But for now, what I want us to do is be able to factor a simple quadratic. So we're going to move on to factoring a simple quadratic expression, which will help us with a lot more stuff later on. Okay, so when dealing with a quadratic expression, the first thing that we need to make sure, we need to make sure that the degree is decreasing. What do I mean by decreasing degree? Well, you'll notice that the the degree of our first term here is 2. The degree of our second term is 0. Since there is no x here, it's actually x to the 0. And so our degree here is 0. But the degree here is 1. It's x to the 1. That's not how it should be. So we should have our quadratic in the general format ax squared plus bx plus c. So the first thing that we should see is the x squared. Then if there is an x, that should come next. And then if there's a number by itself, that should come last. So ax squared plus bx plus c is the general formula of a quadratic that we should see before we factor. And again, we're going to be factoring, which is the opposite of multiplying. And this helps us in order to solve equations later on. Okay. So let's rearrange it so that we can factor. So we have first x squared, then we have the number with the x, so plus 2x, and the number that stands alone, so minus 15. Once we have our quadratic in this format, now we are able to start factoring. So factoring is the opposite of foiling. So we want to separate out that x squared. So how can we factor x squared? Well, that's a simple one to factor. The two numbers that multiply to get x squared, or the two terms that multiply to get x squared, is just x and x. All right, now that we have that, we still have a little bit more to go. All right, so we have in order to figure out what should go here in our parentheses and here in our parentheses, where we're going to be looking for two numbers. And those two numbers have to satisfy the two criteria I'm going to tell you right now. We're going to look for two numbers, and the two numbers, that says numbers, take my word for it, <laughs> and the two numbers must have a product, so multiply to get our last value. 
in this case, our last value is negative 15. Let's rewrite that. Actually, let's write that and make it general. So it must have a product of C, and by C, I mean our last number here. So that's C, and it also should have a sum of B, and by B, I mean the middle number here. So two numbers with a product of C and a sum of B. So C in this case is negative 15 and B in this case is 2. Can you think of two numbers with a product of negative 15 and a sum of 2? If you said positive 5 and negative 3, you are correct. Because those two numbers do have a sum of 2 and a product of negative 15. All right, great. So that's how you factor a simple quadratic polynomial. But it's always a great idea to check. And how do you check to see if this is right? If you said you should FOIL, you are correct. Good job. OK, so let's FOIL to check. And just in case you forgot what that means, we're multiplying everything out. And FOIL is just something we used to remember to multiply every single thing. So first term times first term is our f for FOIL. All right, so f should be x squared. Outer, so the o here is our outer terms, the x times the negative 3, and that gives us minus 3x. Inner, 5 times x gives us plus 5x. And last, 5 times negative 3 gives us negative 15. And when we simplify that, we do, in fact, get what we were looking for. Sorry, let's fix that. We get what we were looking for, which is x squared plus 2x minus 15. That was our original expression, and we got or factored expression to be the same thing. So that's how we know in our check that we are correct.